A Chesterfield man is sharing his story of survival tonight after he nearly died from COVID-19. The father of two spoke with our Tracy Sears tonight about what helped him pull through while he was fighting for his life. No question that what they did saved my life. Thomas Bryan is grateful he's back with the people he loves most, thankful for a second chance at life. Kind of moments of despair when I figured that I was done knowing that nobody from my family would know what had happened or what I was going through was a very, very difficult thing for me to reconcile us fighting for my life. It was a business trip in early March to San Francisco that Brian says he unknowingly contracted COVID-19 and ended up in a California emergency room. They never ended up doing a coronavirus test on me. And the time that was lost because they did not do that ended up being pretty critical. By the time Brian flew home to Richmond on March 15th, his health had rapidly declined. He was admitted to Johnston Willis Hospital with a high temperature and double pneumonia. Made it extremely difficult to breathe, to think, to move. It was just a, a drowning, suffocating, excruciatingly painful experience. When tests finally revealed the virus, doctors began administering hydroxychloroquine in an attempt to save Brian's life. There was one night in particular when all my vitals went down rapidly and I just faded out. And I figured if I woke up from this, it was going to be a miracle. 14 hours later, doctors told Brian they believed he had survived the worst. Slowly, he began to feel better and was released from the hospital in early April, but had to spend so, two weeks in isolation. The real joy and homecoming for me was this past weekend when they lifted me from quarantine. They told me I was no longer contagious and I could finally be around the people that I love and care so much about. And that was incredible, really incredible. An Easter weekend that truly represented hope. I see this beautiful Virginia spring weather. Um, I see my friends and I see life and hope around me. And it makes me really think about the things that are the most important. Brian says he hopes now to take part in clinical trials that will use plasma from his blood to create antibodies to the virus. He says his ordeal will have been worth it if he can save just one life. Reporting in Chesterfield County, Tracy Sears, now back to you.